Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your track to stop slipping in your Skidoo 800. So if you've modified this at all, changed your battery, or even ran good AA batteries in it, you'll notice that this track just wants to slip like crazy. The first thing you want to do is you want to get under there and take out the screws. Just a star screwdriver. There'll be one on the bottom, around here, two on this side, two on that side, two right here, and two right there. All on the bottom. You get them all from the bottom. You don't have to take your track off. You just take these little parts off that are underneath there, and the pin will come out. And uh, you can take it all out. Then you have to take remove your gearbox out of there, and then all uh, this will come out. But this all is, is all in there. So I've already started the one side. Because on this track, when it's in there, the only parts that are catching are these little tiny yellow tabs. Better there. The middle part's actually not doing anything at all. So when you're punching it, just those tiny little rubber tabs there are catching those little plastic tabs there. So it's very easy for it to skip, especially if you've upgraded your battery or any other part in your electronic system. So what the plan is, is right where all those tabs are. Drill exactly underneath of them and find some brass or some steel or aluminum, whatever you can find. Brass and aluminum would be better they don't rust. But if you do use steel like a nail or something, just paint it. So yeah, right where those tabs are, you want to drill all the way around. There's 12 holes, so you'll need 12 little pegs or whatever. I'm just using uh, some brass stock from the hobby store. Five thirty-two brass rod, nine point or three point nine seven millimeters. That's solid brass rod. So I'll go ahead and drill the holes on the other side. And we'll get this build on the go. And when it's all done, looks like that. The hole should be perfectly even. Go straight through on both sides. If they're not perfectly even, just correct it with the drill bit. Because you're just going to be gluing this in with some epoxy. Just start putting them in all the way around. Checking to make sure that they're straight. Okay, once you got them all in there, even on both sides, just for the weight, make sure they're all perfectly even. Then you can go ahead and get some epoxy or whatever glue you prefer and trust. Mix it up, do one side at a time. So just waiting for that glue to harden up. Make sure you don't uh, get any, uh, any on that. I got some on there. I'm going to have to wipe it off quickly. While I'm waiting for that glue to dry, I'll go over a couple things. If you're still using the old circuit board and motor, and you've uh, upgraded your batteries, or just, just change it to a different battery, and you want to get more speed, change these wires to thicker wires. And then the battery wires that come out of this, unsolder these two and just put a thicker wire on again to your battery that will give you a little bit more speed and a little bit more power with the stock motor and the stock circuit board set up so now that the glue's all dried give them a quick little shake unless you went like me and overdid it with the glue so you don't have to shake them you know it's good just my last snowmobile I did this to my uh, Players Pro R 
I just used super glue and they all started to come out so I had to redo it and I lost a couple of my brass rods I had to replace them with aluminum because I didn't have brass at the time so yeah just everything you did to take it apart put it back together like that and you're good to go no more slipping and the next videos I'll have on this is I'm making a transmission out of this just out of a couple pieces of aluminum just gonna cut them out couple normal gears you can get from your hobby shop for a couple bucks a little bolt belts you can get from your hobby shop cheap or online even cheaper and then these little gears you get offline too you'll be putting a servo in it ESC just to replace this and that steering and that little transmission and weak motor so until the upcoming videos take care thanks for watching like and subscribe